Hey guys, this is your friend Maynard from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll see how to insert ties in columns of different spacing in start and in center using the rebar set. So before starting, I want to tell you, we have launched for you a complete recorded course on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer in which all the aspects of your planning, structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description. So first of all you can observe that we have created the model having you know different parts in different levels so that we can create or insert different spacings for our particular ties. So now to insert our ties we can simply go to the option of concrete and to the rebar set and we can select on create crossing rebars. So uh, before starting make sure that you have this option of direct modification turned on. So if you want to turn it on or off you can use the option of D which is a shortcut in your keyboard. So after having done that you can also make sure that these things are turned on. That is the guideline visibility, proper modifier visibility, splitter visibility. So these things are turned on and after that you can select either in this view or in this view you can select a particular any particular position before selecting your particular position make sure you can change the size you want. So I want to go with FE 500 8 mm reinforcement for our tie or stirrup and let's click on any part in between and we'll click on the middle mouse button. So after you click on the middle mouse button you can see that the ties are applied to the entire span which we have defined. So after having done that we can click on escape and escape once again. Of after that you can select this particular reinforcement bars and we want different spacing at the start end and at the center. So let's select them again if you want you can press ctrl plus 1 by that only the rear bars will be visible you can select them and here you can go to edit spacing properties so after going to adding spacing properties you can click this once and again you can click on this plus 7 symbol once again so we have created uh, three spacing zones so once we have created three spacing zones we can define the properties of the spacing zones for example spacing zone 1 let's give this as uh, we can give this spacing zone by an absolute value like uh, some distance like 1 meter 2 meter or we can give a percentage so let's go with a percentage factor so let's give a percentage of 20% uh, and now we'll keep the spacing of this uh, starting as uh, 150 mm center to center and we'll go with spacing zone 2 and in spacing zone 2 we'll keep as let's say 60% and here we'll give a spacing of uh, 200 mm or 175 mm and in the spacing zone 3 we'll give another 20% and here we'll give a spacing of 150 mm. We'll click on modify. So now our modification has been done. So as you can see, we have different spacing at the start zone and at the end zone and at the center zone. So we'll just click back on your control plus 2 to make them back to translucent view. So now you can simply observe that these particular ends are like this so if you want to modify this ends of this particular ties so we have to select them so once they are selected we can go to the option of end detail and again if you make sure that this particular option of end detail modifier visibility is turned on so after that you can change these properties if you want all the bars to be changed you can click on one by one if you want half the bars to be changed you can click on half and like this you can do so we want all the all the particular ties to be changed so we want uh, one by one if you f want the first affected bar to be the first bar 
so you can change that like the first bar second bar you can do that but we want all the bars so we'll click on auto and we want hook here we don't want cranking and the hook type we want of standard 135 degrees to resist our earthquake so after that let's click on this end and this end so after we click on these two ends we can uh, select these or uh, view the properties properly let's close this particular view don't need that we will just press ctrl plus one and click on the escape twice and we can observe the particular ties so as you can see the ties have been provided with a, a, a hook of 135 degrees and of different spacing at the start and and center in the tecla structures model so friends that's all for today's video and if you want training on tecla structures tecla structural designer or any software related to civil engineering from the practical point of view you can contact us bye bye